Let's get that grade book set up in Canvas. Now there's actually three different places that we need to go. We need to go to the assignments tab. We'll do that first and then the grades tab and then the settings tab. Let's go ahead and dive right in by going to our assignments tab. The assignments tab is where you will set up your grade categories and any weights that you might happen to have. So in my course, I've got these categories. So I have got homework that's worth 30%. I've got participation worth 10% and I've got uh, quizzes and projects that are worth 60%. You can also do this if your course is weighted on points. So to set up your categories first, you'll notice that the default category, this one just shows up for us as assignments. Everything gets dumped into assignments unless you've set up additional categories. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click the add group button. So I do want assignments and I also want participation. And I'm going to click save. And then I've got that last category, which was quizzes and projects. And there it is. And then I'll hit save. Now I can move my assignments since I already have some in here. I can move the assignments into the right spot. Now this meet your classmates is a discussion board, which is definitely participation. So I'm just going to click and hold on this array of dots over here on the left hand side. So if I click and hold that, I can drag it down into participation and I can drop it right there. Um, I also have a quiz here that would live in quizzes and uh, quizzes and projects. Um, you could do the same thing by by moving it or you could click on the three dots over here on the right hand side and then say that you want to move that to and it lets you choose the quizzes and projects group and then I can click move so a couple of ways to do that. Now I weigh everything by percentage for the groups. The default for Canvas is to weigh everything in terms of points. So regardless of what category they're in, notice their final exam is 100 points. I've got a 20 point, a 10 point, that's 130, and then a 15 point. So right now everything would be calculated out of 145 points if I did that math right. I do everything though based on percentages. So let's get the percentages off of my syllabus into our assignment groups. To do that, I'm gonna click on the three dots up here in the upper right hand corner. So if I click the three dots, it gives you the option to do group weighting. So I'm gonna choose that. And then as soon as I click this box, I've got everything now weighted in percentages that I can choose. Assignments were 30 and participation was 10 and then quizzes and projects was 60, giving me that total of 100%. Let's click save. Now there's one more thing that I should do. Assignments is actually called homework on my syllabus. Let's change that as well. You'll notice over here that I've got this 30% total and one rule. I'm going to show that to you in a second, that rule. But let's go and click on the three dots on the right end of our assignments category. If I click this, I've got the chance to edit this and I can edit that by changing the name to homework. This is where the rule is as well. So if you look down here underneath the name and the assignment, wait, it'll say number of scores to ignore for each student. So you can drop the lowest assignment score. And I love this feature. It also lets you choose one that you would never drop. Okay, I'm going to click save. Now that I've got these assignments set up, when I go into one of my assignments, I'm going to open up my meet your classmates assignment. I can choose the category as I'm building or editing them. So I've got this discussion board, so I need to click the three dots to get to edit. So three dots to get to edit. And if I scroll down here to my options, I do have it graded and it gives me the assignment group. And notice how it shows up as participation. But if I click on the down arrow, it's got the different categories that I've chosen. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in participation though. Let's click save and move on to our grades tab. So I honestly think all of this should be set up in the grades tab, but it's not and that's okay. So I'm gonna show you what's in the grades tab. So you can see that this is my sandbox course. I'm the only student in there twice. This is actually in Canvas free for teachers. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, but what I wanna show you here is that you can move these assignments around. So I can just click and hold on these assignments and then move the columns around. I also have three dots as I hover on the assignment name three dots appear over on the right hand side. If I click that, I have some additional options as well. 
but I also want to show you the settings here. So if I click on the gear in the upper right hand corner, there's some settings that you can set up universally for your grade book. So there's some light like policies. I really like to use this first one and set up automatically applying grade for missing submissions to a grade of zero. And I do this because the default in Canvas is just to leave a little dash in the assignment for a missing assignment, which means it's not counted towards their total at all. So I really like that automatic zero. You can also do an automatic late deduction. So um, those are our late policies. For grade posting policy, I choose automatically post grades, but honestly, when I was just getting going, I would do main manually post grades. If I choose manually post grades, I'm going to hit apply settings. Let me throw um, a couple of scores in here so that you can see how this works. I've got manually posting set, which means that as I'm grading, the students are not getting these scores. They're not going to get the scores or be able to view them until I post them. So I've got this little eyeball here with a slash through it. To post them, I just hover up here on the name looking for those three dots to appear. I'm going to click the three dots and then I can choose post grades for everyone and then post grades. So a great thing to set up, especially as you're getting started. Back to our settings. So let's click on that gear again. I actually want automatic grade posts. So I'll apply the settings back to the gear. Okay, click that. Advanced settings, you can allow a final grade override. This is great at the very end of your term. If a student has like an, an 89.0 and you really want to give them the A, this gives you the chance to override your grading scheme. Now we're going to set up the grading scheme here in just a minute, but I do want to take you to the view options. So the view options will allow you to arrange the columns, the order in which students see the assignments in the gradebook. Um, alphabetically or by due date. I'm, I'm going to leave the default order. You can also show notes. I actually think this category here is really important. Um, if you do allow for notes, that gives you a notes column that just you see and it gives you a place to put maybe a student's nickname or if you've given a student like one late pass and that's all they get, this is a place where you can record those things. Um, but I absolutely like to uncheck the unpublished assignments. I do not want students to see those unpublished assignments. So I do uncheck that. I do not hide the group total. So I just leave that and I leave everything else and um, view ungraded as zero. I'm actually just going to leave that because I set up that late policy. And then we've got some statuses here and I'm going to show you how to work with those as well. Okay, so let's click apply settings. You can see I've got the notes column now. If I just click on the notes column, I'm just going to put a note to myself here that says best student ever. Okay, save. Before we leave grades, I want to show you how you can mark something excused. So notice here under meet your classmates, I've got this one student that has the slash in it. I'm just going to click on this cell and then I'm going to choose the arrow here and it opens up my options. If I click on excused, this means that it will not be counted towards their overall grade and the student will see it not as a missing assignment, but they'll see it as one that you have excused. There's also a chance to mark it missing and late as well. We can click X to get out of the status. If I scroll all the way over to the right hand side, we've got the totals there. You'll see that mine are showing up as percentages and that's because I've got my categories weighted. If you wanted yours to show points though instead, you can click on the three dots and you would have an option here that says display as points. But what I really want to show along with the percentage is the letter grade. And to get a grading scheme in here, we're going to go to settings. So we're going to go back to our course. I'm just going to click on the course name up there in the breadcrumb trail. And I want to go all the way down to settings. Let's go ahead and click on settings. Um, here, if I scroll down, I am looking for grading scheme and here it is in the middle. I want to enable a grading scheme and I do already have one set up at the course level and that's my math grading scheme, but I'm going to take you through setting one up from scratch and Canvas makes it really nice because you're not actually doing it from scratch. I'm going to choose add new grading scheme and I'm just going to call this one um, math two or something. Um, I do want this one to be in percentage. You could also have that be in points and I'm going to show the letter grade here. Now, if you were doing it as a four point scale, so this A here would be a four point, you could replace that letter grade with a four and then continue to do that with your other letter grades. But we do have letter grades at my school, so I'm going to change this one to an A. 
The other thing that I want you to be really, really careful about, Canvas does not round. So when it says 94% to 100%, it literally means 94.00. It does not mean 93.9. .9. I round up for my students. So I change this to 93.5. Same with the A minus, I change that to 89.5. So as they're expecting 0.5 and above, would be rounded. But again, it's totally up to you. The other thing that I want to change, our college actually does not have D minuses. So to get rid of any of these grading categories, and maybe you don't have plus or minuses either, you can click on the garbage can. So I can get rid of that one. And our Ds actually go down to 60, which would be a 59.5. And then it changes that F category as well. I'm gonna click save and I've got it enabled there, but I need to update my course details. Let's take a look at our grades column now. If I scroll all the way over, you'll see that all of my students are failing, but I've got my letter grades in there as well. What else do you wanna know about the Canvas gradebook? Put your questions and suggestions down in the comments below. I've got another video for you here.